Good morning, everyone. My name is Malak Khalid. My ID number is 21109, and I'll be teaching computer science students English 90. So, um, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Or what's the first thing that makes you nervous or anxious when you first apply for a job? Other than the CV. Yes, the job interview. So today we're going to talk about uh, job interviews. I'm, I'm going to give you uh, five types of um, interview questions that would that would help you um, answer the interview questions re relevantly. Okay. So, for, so first of all, um, there are some some stuff that you should prepare before you go to uh, to the interview or you or some stuff that you should keep in mind first of all you should research the company as before the interview take your time re researching the company to learn uh, to learn about its missions values and culture this will help you tailor your cv and your answers to the company's needs and dem demonstrate your interest in the position. So first of all, you should research the company. Second of all, you should practice your response. While you're doing your, your research about this company, you'll find common questions that are asked in, in the company's interviews and practicing your answers will, will give you some sort of, um, um, some sort of confidence and you'll feel like you're prepared as the first, uh, the, the, the very first uh, questions that you, you'll encounter, you'll know them, like introduce yourself or, or like what's your strengths and weaknesses. Third of all, of all, you should um, you should dress appropriately, uh, as as you should dress professionally in an attire. Do you know what is an attire? Attire is um, is the uh, is the professional dressing, like suits for men or or dresses or or. So do you know what's what's an attire? Yes, yes, formal clothes like suits. Okay, uh, the first thing you should arrive early. You should arrive. Um, you should plan to arrive at least from ten to fifteen minutes early, so you could cool down and go to the bathroom, and that shows how much you respect the uh, recruiter's time. Do you know who is the recruiter? Yes, the HR, the HR employee. Okay, and fifth, fifth of all, you should make a good impression because first impressions uh, last. You should greet the interviewer with a firm handshake and you should smile uh, and you should maintain eye contact throughout the interview. And that takes us to uh the questions that that's going to be in the interview so there are five types of questions that you're going to encounter uh in the interview so first of all the behavioral questions they are the questions that are designed designed to assess the candidate's behavior do you know what is the candidate the candidate is the interviewee the person the person who went to take the interview So um, the behavior questions are the questions that are designed to assess the, uh, the candidate's behavior, deci decision-making skills based on 
uh, past experiences and these experience does, experiences does not have to be like a full-time job that you've encountered before or, or that you you've done before because you're a fresh graduate it could be it could be an internship it could be volunteer work it could be academic projects and you should mention all of that while while taking the interview and the purpose of these questions should I give you examples of behavioral questions? Yes. Okay, so they could ask you, tell me uh, about time when you had to work under pressure to meet a deadline. So you could talk about a group project that, you, that you've done in university. It does not have to be a full-time job or, or even it does not have to be uh, um, an internship that you took. Or they could ask you, how do you manage your time? They could ask you, uh, um, what what's the first thing you do first when you wake up so they so they know if you have a routine if you're disciplined or not and the purpose of these questions is to understand the candidates uh, way uh, to handle uh, challenges and to demonstrate relevant skills uh, in non-professional uh, setting like your discipline if you have a routine or not the second type of question skills and, no, uh, and, and knowledge questions. Uh, these questions aim to evaluate a candidate's technical skills and knowledge. So this is basically what you learned through uh, the university years. So, um, and, uh, and to know the, ab uh, the abilities they acquired through their education, internships, and relevant courseworks. Uh, for example, they could ask you, uh, what programming language are you proficient at? They could ask you, uh, can you explain the difference, uh, the differences between a balance sheet and an income, an income statement? And the purpose is to determine if the candidates, uh, process and possess the necessary expertise that's needed to perform the job effectively. They want to know if you, if you have or, or if you're tailored for this job or if you're, if you're suitable for this job. Um, and they take in consideration your, your, your limited professional uh, experience. And you don't have to have a lot of uh, experiences and internships. You, you just should be active and willing to learn. The third type of question is motivational questions. These types of questions assess the candidate's passion, enthusiasm, and commitment to the role, uh, and also your, your organization. Uh, the purpose is to understand uh, the candidate's career uh, aspirations, goals, and alignment with the, companies, uh, with the company's needs, missions, and values especially the recent, uh, the recent graduates. So for example, they could ask you the most provoking question, where do you see yourself in five years? The purpose of it is not to, to, to know that you want to take their place in the future. No, they want to know your goals. They want to know if you're motivated for this job or not. They want to know your work ethics. They want to know your values. Um, Could you please close the door? Could you please ask your colleagues what we've done, if you please? Uh, the fourth type of questions is the problem solving and critical thinking questions. So these questions assess the candidate's ability to think critically and analyze problems and devise effective uh, solutions um, without your academic experiences. It's, it's really out of yani, your ability to think out of the box. If you're given a task and you don't know how to do it, are you going to search? Are you going to try your hardest to do it or not? For example, uh, they could ask uh, yani a type of questions that's asked. For example, 
can you describe a time when you th when you had to think creatively to solve a problem or how do you approach a complex problem that you have never encountered before so and the purpose of these questions is to evaluate the candidate's problem solving skills uh, and creativity outside your academic experiences particularly in scenarios where professional experiences may be limited so you have to think outside the box so you have to search for things uh, could you please keep quiet if you please so you have to think outside the box and search for what needs to be done the fifth type of question is cultural fit questions and this should be a part of your research you should know the cultural uh, the, col the cultural uh, values of uh, the employees in this in this um, in this company and the and the professional uh, yani, what's the professional ethics so these uh, the cultural fit questions aim to determine if a candidate values work style and work ethics uh, personally align with the company's culture with the people inside the company the purpose is to assess how well the candidates would fit within the organization and work effectively with the existing team for example um, they could ask you can you describe your ideal work environment or they could ask you how did you uh, how do you handle conflicts with your co-workers so you so they want to know how do you handle conflicts and how do you work with them and they want to know your values any questions so uh, right now i'll give you a, a real interview script uh, from uh, the company concentrix uh, and i want you to work in pairs and um and tell me uh, which type of question is each okay do you understand what okay so i want you i'm going to give you a, a real so now, uh, a real uh, script nice. of uh, of an interview okay. Okay. and i want you to tell me these questions are which type of interview questions okay, I and i want you to work in pairs okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do, do you all understand do you, yes what are we going to do now so what what are we going to do now yes yes Okay. You're gonna you're gonna read it, yes. and you're gonna tell me each each question that's asked <laughs> by a recruiter. <laughs> okay, and you could, you could take a part of it. Okay. It could be motivational. Yes. Like they want to know what's what's his motivation. Like I said, wait, I'll show you. Yes, please. Take care of your mic. Maybe. 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 Ma
Show me, show me the question. Can you tell us about the solution? Yes. Problem solving? Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly the question. Just the questions, the, the question that's asked by the recruiter. Yes. No, 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 you, you, you just write the question. The question and the content. Yes. Cultural fit is no cultural fit. If you if you fit within the the your colleagues in in, in the in the company, yes, it, it, it could be this one. Could you please write it? Could you please write the answers? Do you have a pen? Monitor and message. Okay, could you write them down? I'll ask you. I'll ask you. Do you want any help? What did you uh, could you please write down the answers? Are you working? Do you want any help? No, thank you. Yes, please. Could you please answer them? Do you know what you what you'll do? Whatever you want, it's okay. I'm gonna ask you. You know, you don't necessarily have to write them down. But you know when you know them. Yes. Show me, show me. Could you please turn it over? Yes. Correct. We should categorize the question in the day. Yes, yes. Okay, I'll give you an example, okay? So, how do you deal with, with feedback and criticism, okay? This is under behavioral questions because uh, the recruiter wants to know if how they react to things. Should I give you another, another, another example? Okay. Um, Okay, so this part, why why are you why you're interested in career in customer service? It's a motiva motivational question. He wants to know uh, why are they interested in this field? Okay. Sorry, it's the company's name. It's a company for call center Co customer service. What do you think is the behavior question here? Sure. It's, it's how they react to things. Um, it could be this one. How do, how do you how do you deal with feedback and criticism? Where this one? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's behavioral question. I think uh -huh. yes. Okay. But the answer it's about how you deal with colleagues. So I put it on. It's, uh, no no no. It's not dealing with. Can back to that. Uh, can you tell us about situation? No, this is had, uh, no, this is um, a problem solving. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Which one is number four? Number four, it's uh, problem solving. 
that's one. How do you handle working? Yes. Okay. So I'm still quite sharp for here. Yes, it is. It is how behavior. You, it's how he reacts to things. So are we done? Are we done? Are you guys done? Okay. So you have three more minutes. How do you fit with, with your colleagues in, in the company? It's this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, are you guys done? Okay, so could you please tell me the answer of the first question? The first, uh, the first type? Okay, what's the question? No, I want to know the behavioral question. Number one. Criticism. So the first one. Could you please tell me the answer to the second one? Yes, correct. Thank you. Could you please tell me the, the third one? Yes. Correct. There is another answer to this one. Uh, how do you handle working in the first place and the dynamic uh, environment? Correct. Thank you. Could you please give me an answer for the first, for the third one, uh, for the fourth one? Fourth, uh, fourth. Could 
could you please raise your voice? Correct, thank you. Could you please tell me the fifth one? Yes. Okay, could you tell me the answer to the fifth question? Have we met the working in the dynamic in No, this this is um this is a problem uh, um this is a motivational question. Sorry? I'm talking about this one. How did you answer it? Does anyone know the answer? Yes. Yes. So this question could be uh, could be answered in motivational and to cultural fit. So right now, I'm going to give you another handout. It's a choose questions that you're going to answer, uh, but individually. Answer it together. Could you please answer it together? Okay. Okay. So, guys, you have uh, six minutes to answer it. answer it together.
behavior, mm -hmm. intimidation, mm -hmm. um, work style, skills and knowledge. Which one? It's called company's culture. Mm -hmm. So it's culture that gets you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, correct. Let me answer me. <laughs> correct. Yes. Yes. I'm going to write it down on the board. Are you guys done? Yes. Okay, so what's... Um, could you please read the first question and tell me the answer? Yes, the first question. Uh, these questions are all joint to assess. Assess. Yes. A candidate's behavior. Yes. Yes. Yes, correct. Thank you. So the first answer is behavioral questions. Could you please tell me the answer to the second question? Anyone, any, any one of you? Could you please raise your voice? I'm sorry. Commitment? Yes? Okay, correct, thank you. Uh, what's what's the answer to the third question? Yes, correct. So the third one is culture and fit questions. Could you please raise your voice? Yes, thank you. So the fourth is problem solving and critical thinking. Okay, could you please tell me the answer to the fifth one? These questions aim to evaluate the candidate's technical skills, knowledge, and abilities acquired through education, internships, or relevant coursework. It's skills and knowledge questions. Yes, thank you. Uh, so guys, to wrap up, today we covered uh, five types of questions that you're most like, likely to encounter during an interview, and the, what's the purpose behind each uh, one of them. So there are five types, behavioral uh, questions, motivational questions, cultural fit questions, problem solving and critical thinking questions, and finally, skills and knowledge questions. Do you have anything to ask? Thank you. Thank you.